thread the needle and this is a vlogmas day six we're going to start with my coffee of the day we have today a very lovely tasting one it sounds yummy too it's called cinnamon shortbread you know now that i'm thinking of it because i did this last year too mm, so good um I don't remember this flavor from last year, so I'm wondering if there's a, a mix of new flavors in there because I bought the exact same box, but there are a few that I've had over the last couple of days that maybe my memory is just wrong, but I don't remember a couple of flavors, and I definitely don't remember this one, cinnamon shortbread. So anyway, I, I, I enjoy it either way. So there you have it. Next, we move on to my gift exchange with my friends. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm having trouble choosing which one today. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Very sweetly wrapped. So I'm going to unwrap it here. And the box is taped closed. And I don't have scissors with me, so let's see how this is going to go. Right. Aha! That wasn't so bad. We just take the tape off there. And then it pops open like so. Oh, lovely, lovely. We have a beautiful tea towel. And honey oatmeal soap. This is, I believe, handmade. Homemade, I should say. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Very nice. Thank you, thank you to my friend. Let's see if I can put that back on. I'm going to do that later. <clears throat> Excellent. So that is this lovely gift. And then we move on to the coffee melts. We are on day six, right? Okay, so that's down here. All right, now let's cut through the tin foil. Let's see what color it is. Oh, it's like a very light sage green or maybe like a buttery lemon oh my gosh why is this so hard to get out because i don't want to dig into it with my nails because you know then you get the wax stuck in your nails and that's no fun i feel like it's not aligned with the hole which is why i'm having trouble getting it out holy moly i didn't have this much trouble the last couple of times Okay, ready to see what pattern is? Oh, nice. Ah, I think a little, some holly and berries or one berry. Very cool. So number six, where's number six? Oh, lime, basil, mandarin. Oh my God, can you imagine if that smell in your kitchen after cooking? You just want to get all the cooking smells out and get this smell in. Oh, I really like that one. That is an absolutely lovely one. So I hope you all have been having um, a good December so far. Uh, we're going to move on into my stitching portion of the episode. Um, I'm on a little stoolie chair that keeps turning around and I have to keep turning myself back this way because it wants to keep turning that way as my wax melts just fall down. Okay, so to my stitching. So yesterday, um, the project that won the polls was QS Sapphire and the challenge was not that one. Nope, I should really Put it in order there we go okay so i'm going to put all of these over here um it was to stitch 
the color with the least number of stitches. So that's what I did. I um, sectioned it off into just where the page lines were in the project and I stitched all the colors that came up with the least amount of stitches. So basically it was all the confetti stitches within this page. Um, so anything that had less than 10 stitches, I started, I think the lowest one, there was one that had a few actually that had just two stitches, three stitches, a couple that had just one stitch. So I kind of liked this method because it got rid of like all that confetti stitches that's going to come later on. So now I can just move on to the um, colors that will actually have a substantial number of stitches. Anything higher than 15 to 20 stitches, I feel is substantial. Anything more than like 50 is a lot. So I felt this challenge was uh, helpful for my future stitching of this project. So here is where I'm at with it. And then this is where I, this is the comparison of where I started. So because it's confetti stitching, um, you won't see a lot of difference, but as you can see, there's like bits and pieces all over here where I added one or two stitches. And obviously I didn't stay within the diagonal. I veered off because all those confetti stitches were all over here. So that's my stitching challenge for day five. Let's see what I have for today, day six. So the, oh, very nice. So the uh, poll was between Mini Moose Crossing and Mini Opening Night. And the winner was Mini Moose Crossing. So now we have to see what challenge I'm gonna get. Okay, so let's get our little Santa mason jar out. Oh, that's two challenges. There we go. One. And the challenge for Mini Moose Crossing. I'm almost afraid. Oh, this is a good one. Stitch 150 stitches. I can totally manage that. I'm going to put it over here so tomorrow when I'm looking for it, I know exactly where it is. So stitch 150 stitches on Mini Moose Crossing. I can manage that. Um, I have been um, doing my daily 100 on my uh, Christmas stitch, the Christmas mailbox. Um, so I probably will give you an update on that in my regular floss tube episode, which is coming in about a little over a week's time. I'm trying to remember what day it is today. It's December 6th. Um, no, actually, it'll, so then my regular video will actually be in less than a week's time. So you can look forward to an update there. Um, what I'll probably do is, um, since I've ex exclusively been stitching on Vlogmas challenges, I'll probably just run through all of the projects that I have stitched on in the last uh, six days and give an update on my Christmas stitch. So that is my day six. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you're enjoying my videos because I know I'm enjoying making them. They're just so much fun. And I'm so glad that um, you're taking the time just to come and Hang out with me for a few minutes. The videos aren't very long and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye everyone.